Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. Today's episode's coming to you at noon. I got lunch plans in an hour, but I'm not that far away, so I'm gonna get Monster Train out of the way. Out of the way makes it sound like it's a negative. I'm not, it's not negative. No, 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 no. I'm chilling. I'm glad to be here. We have to play Shellsmith today. This is the last one. I should note to self here, I'm gonna tab out while the game loads, and I'm gonna go open Discord. I'm going to go to the group chat I have with Cranberry, Dusk, and Gabriot, and I'm going to leave that open so that next time I look over there I can remember, oh yeah, I need to, need to coordinate the all champion paths tier list. Anyway, I hope you guys have been doing well. I'm hanging in there, feeling pretty good. We're at the end of this challenge. I think for like a, probably going to do another free cycle of just doing rotating random, and then I'll figure out what I want to do after that. But for now, let's begin. Excel Worm can Hellhorn, Rage, Shadow, Sap, Shelter Molting, and Power of Knowledge. It's possible that we don't get to play this run, but we will see. I hope I get to play this run, because I do like having Split Anvil. What we got? Ah, no run. Take me back. I don't mind it. I, I, re I really don't. I don't think it's a big deal. Excel, so same thing, uh, we have Echo Transfer, Hidden Passage, Force Contamination, and it's Chase Seraph. I don't really care about the first two, except for Pushback Talos. Oh, what the hell? Come on, Monster Train. Where's my run? What's going on here? Proclamation, Welder Helper, Power of Knowledge. Uh, Curse Fell, Sap Seraph. This one for sure. Okay, there it is, Shellsmith. There we go, there we go. I want to play Hellhorn because Shellsmith Armor. What the hell? We got Split Anvil. That's crazy. Do I have any? I, I have Power of Knowledge, actually. Split Anvil. This, this actually opens up a Split Anvil holdover Power of Knowledge idea, which I think could be cool. With Power of Knowledge, we just rocket out a few consumes for armor and then use Power of Knowledge to pick off targets. I think that could be good. Also, Light's Gift. Very good. I almost want to pick Volatile Gauge there, but it really is quite bad. In this position, I should say. We have Split Anvil, so it might be okay, but if I try to play any sort of imp, it's gonna feel terrible. I don't know, maybe I should have gone Volatile Gage with Split Anvil. Maybe it was right. Hmm. Not thinking about it now. I think I missed out. I think I should have played it. So, Shellsmith is weird, because Shellsmith doesn't really do anything. Particularly. That's how I, that's the best way I can describe it. I don't do a whole lot with this champion. I have to, I can take zero on this fight, I think. 21. No, maybe I can't. I can, but I have to play Proclamation. Do I have Proclamation next turn? No, I have four torches. Hmm. 21. This'll do... Yeah, okay. Do I not have a consume in the starter? No, okay, I got a little, got a little lost here. Power of Knowledge actually sucks right now. I think I'm gonna play it safe and take the three because if I don't, there's a chance that I get slapped for a lot of damage next turn. What if I do play torch, torch, torch? I would have taken a full hit from this guy and the foot soldier. That was the correct choice. I made the correct call there. Good job, me. Well, I guess the start of this run is going to be I need to pick up any consumes. Am I dead? I might be dead again. These Echo Right starters have been really bad. We're gonna take six, it's not so bad. But this is a thank you Lava Helper sort of situation here. I gotta plug my headphones in. It's not a big deal, but they're gonna keep randomly going off and saying recharge. Cause I turned my computer off last night. When you do that, it doesn't charge my shit. I gotta put it in sleep mode. Anyway, we're gonna pick consume here. Give me Echo Snare. I'll play it in. I have no problem playing Fudgling Imp, Wilder Helper combo here. And... Maybe I'll get first of kin today. Quick 25, 10. Quick is worthless, or not as good because of Light's Gift. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? He probably, he's not even purple, man. Wow. I mean, I cannot play Glug Cider here. He's terrible. This is not a position where he's playable. So I guess I have to pick in those carapace. Oh. This is also really bad. This is a terrible setup. Can I not have Shellsmith and just reset here, please? Just run it back. 
This is like, this is horrific. The Echo Ray runs, I don't know what's going on with him, but these have been all pretty awful. That repeater run was tough. The the bog run was fine. The bog worm run was okay. But now I'm having I mean this opener is also too early to call, of course, but I just I have to play Kin Husk Carapace, man. At least it's a good fight for Kin Husk Carapace. That's what I can say. It is a decent fight for him. I have to take the damage shield off here. I could play Proclamation and then I take five instead of six. That seems correct. Can't put Welder Helper out when I guess I could have put Welder Helper out first to get him armor. That's okay. And I'm gonna take another one here. My life is held up by this proclamation. It feels like Echo Wright's actually a pretty weak starting champion. So it's a good idea to gauge our power based on how good our starters are, and how much they can contribute to stopping me from getting hit here. That's what I'm taking away from all of this, except for Marshboard. Marshboard's very strong. Marshboard's evergreen. There's nothing wrong with that guy. I think it's Echo Transfer, even though I want to just click Consume. I don't think you pass Echo Transfer here, because what if I don't see Endless? I'll go then. Oh, Bog Deep Cocoon. Hmm. It's hard to hatch, but I also just don't really want to play another Bog Deep Cocoon, to be honest with you, and I think it's hard to play here. Although... No, I want to play Horn Warrior. I already played Bog Deep Cocoon with this champion, I don't want to do it again. Feels like cheating. Here's Endless, that's good. Now do I want AoE armor from Welder Helper? Or maybe I- I'm gonna put it on Fledgling Imp. Maybe I just want to do self-infuse Fledgling Imp though. That might be the play. Let's... Plus 25 puts me at 175. I'll be able to- or 165. Oh shit. Okay, it's okay. It's like if this was a 110 or 115 multi-strike I couldn't take in now. Dante. And I guess I'll play Dante, actually. That's fine. Dante's really good here, too, because he gives us plus 10 magic power, which is great for a horned wormkin. Double value. We're gonna stay low on pack shards, though, because Dante makes us weak until we pick him up. But we have Endless Raid, we have Dante, we have Shellsmith. Shellsmith isn't really a hard carry. Like, you know, you just use Shellsmith to keep your units alive, and that's fine. So that's the plan here. I bet. I have... Oh, yeah, I have Echo Transfer for Horned Warrior as well. For whenever I draw it. I mean, I want to play Echo Snare elsewhere. But I definitely cannot. Also, Echo Right, 15 HP? That's pretty rough, brother. I, I mean, I want to play it here. Is it really worth four armor? No, it's definitely worth more if I just kill these two. It has to be. This... this is haste. Yeah. That's right. So I'm not paying that stuff. Also, I'm wrong, by the way. I forgot I have light skift in this run. My mistake. How could I forget? How could I be so blind? Power of Knowledge. Hey, it does something this time. No, wait. <laughs> power of Knowledge. This. Hmm, hang on. I think it's better. I don't- it doesn't make a- it makes a difference of 4 HP, but then I have this barreling down on me. What's my next turn? Torch, Torch. I think I save HP by taking the 5-2 here. Because I want to torch one of them. Yeah, yeah. If I, draw, if I don't draw a double torch here, which I did not, this is the better play. And we'll get a little endless imp action. Help us along. Didn't paying them off. We're good here. We're clear. This fight's over. I think. 
with the Light's Gift and the 36. Ah, it's a little closer. I'm gonna try playing Floodwing like, to win it. Good enough. You gotta remember that Shell Smith Echo Rite's actually, like, no HP. And if you don't have a lot of consumes, which you often don't at the start of the round, it's very bad. Well, Transcendence here. So I'll play it. It's good. Steelworker at Keeper of Echoes, Consumer of Crowns. Look at Steelworker. It's a fine infusion, and then... I'm gonna go... I need to go Energy here because it's Curse Fell and I have Dante's Candles. I will take Infinity if I do not. It will be very bad. But we're gonna go Magic Shop here now. And I am going to get rid of Kinho's Carapace. Thank you for your service, brother. And Train Steward. That's all fine. That's all good. We go... I have Split Anvil. I don't think I've been playing around it. Three resets kind of spun me a little bit. Plus 30. It's okay on Vent. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's worth taking back shards for, also. I might play Repeater in this run instead of Shellsmith 3, because I think I don't have enough consumes right now. That's my biggest concern. I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna buy a singular minus one and then we're gonna go. What's in the next ring? It's a relic. I think it's alright. Ugh. Curse. Or er, haste. What a curse. It's okay, Steelworker. You'll have your day. We're gonna try to not disrupt the flow of haste here. I don't wanna accidentally make this a lot worse than it is. Oh, mouse. There we go. Sometimes it just turns off for a sec. I don't know why. Yeah, remember we're gonna try to not disrupt the flow of haste here. Get the full pack or, or full echoes, full pack shards, yeah. And then we just kinda kick back. Remember I can play Power of Knowledge here. I have been forgetting. I will take six because of the draw, that's okay. I guess I could play Proclamation. Yeah, there's actually no reason not to. My mistake. I take zero. Good job, Proclamation. Man, where the hell are my scalers? I feel like I'm getting a little bit robbed here. Where's my raid? Where's my echo train? They're at the bottom, that's the answer. This is the problem of having a 31 card deck with no card draw. Sometimes you draw this, and then you take a lot. I will not play Welder Helper. No, I can play it. I think I need to play it also. And we're gonna take a lot for that. Yeah, that was a bad turn. Nothing I can really- oh my god. Monster Train. Monster Train. I think you ping the haste now. As much as I don't like giving him more attack, I think I need more attack. This is literally last card. This is the worst case. This is the absolute nightmare. I might lose. Do I lose? I don't think I lose. 38 times 2? Okay, I win barely. Still, that was really unlucky. It just needs to be not the bottom card, which is a 1 in 31, and then we're okay. But... It's fine. It's fine. Standard deviation. I know. I need total recall in this run. Oh, Alloy of the Ancients is also great. You could go imp in a box as well, but I want any consume to help me survive. Hello, Dante. I look forward to our work together as well. There we go. Steel Shop. Erg's Goad. Wait a minute. Dante is really bad as an infusion because it just puts a fourth candle in here. It's never Gurg's Goat here, it's definitely Vapor Funnel. Still, always weird to pass it. Now, there's no temple. 
But I can still get rid of Horn Warrior, and then we can infuse Steel Worker away. Quick, Dante doesn't need Quick here. Dante needs base stats, he needs base attack, and he needs, like... I guess base HP doesn't hurt. I think he wants... I think I want Large Stone here, and I will go... Ugh, space, but that feels really bad. I'm gonna give him a Battle Stone. It's better value than Strength Stone, I think. Could just go plus 10. 1820 is okay. And it's like... It's a start. But I could also say it's not good enough and just roll for... Actually, plus 3 per Echo is pretty good. Or plus 25. I'm gonna go plus 3 per Echo. That seems solid here. And then I want to buy a removal and get rid of Train Steward. And I will take the Horde. Ashes of the Fallen is a freebie. This is a crazy Imperon. Crystal Cloak? Gross. Man, I'm still at 31 cards. Okay, we pulled Imp on the turn one, though. That's good news. I'm going to play Imp first here, because I don't care that much about the Rage on Echo Right. I can dodge the Ember Drain. I only really care about the Rage on Dante. Right, Vent now has a passive plus 10 to it, so I can just come down here. I might just kill the whole wave. It doesn't hurt me. The only thing of concern... I guess it's actually really easy to kill the imps because of the plus 10 from Dante. Now that I look at it, it's actually kind of free, isn't it? Okay, we made it out of a rocky early game and we are now very powerful with Dante with an endless double... Or endless Ashes Rage Imp. I think we're all clear. The only thing to do now is remove cards and put Steelworker on Dante. I think that this is the interesting part of Monster Train. The question of this game is how fast can you get to this point of, okay, my game plan is solid? Because now my game plan is set, I have a win condition ready to go. All I have to do is remove a bunch of cards to make the game plan more consistent. The only way I lose now is if I miss draw. If I, if I have a bad draw, I can lose, that's it. Otherwise, this is completely clear. It's interesting to see how fast you can reach this point. We made it in uh, five turns. Uh, That's why Fade is so strong, because Fade is the game plan. The so little Fade, the answer to how fast can I make it there is, I'm already there. That is the, that is the big difference maker. You start in the win condition with her. I don't want to play Ambient Charge here. One horn stone, absolutely not. I could, I'll go into the box. I think it's fine. More imps for transcend imp is good. We're going to focus on unstable vortexes though from here on. How much armor does Welder Helper give itself? Ten armor when it's infused. It does. Wow. That's a little tough. Maybe I don't want to go Welder Helper as my infusion. I don't really hate any of my cards. I guess I'll toss a torch. Stone. Plus 10 piercing. Value stone's a little worse in this run. Uh, we can go. I go value stone. Remove consume alloy is okay. I think that's a fine use. And I'm going. I'm gonna skip the minus ones here. I should grab a plus 20 consume though. Let's go check the caverns. It's, oh, it's like Stygian is fine. Yeah, Crystalline Seas. We just want to click on consumes occasionally to help Echo right. We don't want too many, but a few is good. And I'm gonna do my pact here. I'm gonna do the Steelworker into Dante first, because I want to draw Dante turn one every time. I'll grab my value stone alloy, it puts me at 70. I'm gonna end up over on packed shards by 5. Which is okay. I think there's probably a theory that is like if you're over by 5, it's probably worth it to be over by 15 because it doesn't change the number on the divinity. I don't know, and I don't really care, is the problem. That's that's the difference maker here. Even if it's true, I don't think I care enough. I'm just gonna keep the curses. I took energy, 
When you take energy, you can eat the curses. You play top four when you take energy. Um, curse spell. I will take a hit here if I don't ping off of this guy. But I can do with power of knowledge. And my own imp, and we're clear. You'll take three if you can't ping one of the curses off early because of this turn. Oh, and then Dante just does it to me. Thank you, Dante. Well, I guess we'll just play the curses. No problem. Take my three. It's gonna be a storm of curses and a few slow draws. Oh man, I'm actually gonna lose like this, I think. But I can't play bottom four either, so... It's a tough one. I'm just gonna be- my draw is so zeroed out. I cannot play the game right now. Having fun. Oh, don't kill these, we have Vapor Funnel. Kill... 96. I need to take them below 75, right? Which is that. And then we play two. I- I'll draw my end eventually. I took two hits. I could have played one more and saved myself 12, but... Okay, Imp in a Box, save me. These do not save me. This is awful news, Imp in a Box. Absolutely dreadful to find out. I can play, like... If it's really desperate here, I can play Molting Imp. Dang, I think I need to kill the curse on the bottom floor. I wonder if I could have killed more curses on this fight. 40. I think I have to play Transcendent here. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna play Transcendent and I'm gonna be able to, uh, unable to play my Fledgling Imp. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to take another 12. It's okay, as long as I live this fight, I'm confident I win. This is the hardest fight for us here. The curses are extremely, extremely difficult to deal with. I'm also getting, like, screwed. Like, holy shit, Fledgling, if you're so worthless. This is two combats now where I'm taking Infinity because he's so late. Ugh. It's okay, we actually pulling back Echo Transfer here is big. Very helpful. I have a lot of armor as well now. And Dante doesn't need a ton of time to kill. So again, as long as I survive this fight, it'll be fine. I might have been able to ping off some curses I missed. Okay. Fledgling it. Better late than never. I took infinity damage for this, though. It was so bad. I wonder if I missed hanging a curse enemy or two off. Maybe it was there might have been a time in there where I was supposed to sacrifice, like, three or five fire HP to stop a curse to let me draw faster. However, with hindsight, we know that that would have been a wrong play because the Fledgling Imp was in the bottom five anyway. I would not have drawn him any sooner. So, we take 40. We survive. It's okay. Well, not. I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna stop taking cards here. I, I do not need space because I did not get a large stone. I will pick draw as a result to help us fight off the darkness. And I am going to go... As much as I don't care about the seal shop, I'm still gonna go here for the vortex. Because I want to get rid of... I think Proclamation's pretty bad now. Extract 2 is a high cost for deal 100 damage in this run. I could even buy, like, a Torch removal here, maybe. I think it's alright. What's in the caverns? I will not be trading health for money. Absolutely not on 40 HP. I was going to say we have to ask ourselves if this run plays Repeater, but we do not have to ask ourselves if this run plays Repeater. This run does not play Repeater. I don't know if I need the armor on Fudgling him. Do I? The problem is he's really hard to kill. He sticks super hard. If I put armor on him. Right? Because it's, it's 20 HP on Dante. But I have... Maybe taking tens? I could make it nines? He's gonna die in three turns. I have Shellsmith though. I'm gonna believe in Shellsmith here. I think I'm not going to go for the armor on Welder Helper. I believe in Shellsmith. So I need to take a 30 here, which I'll do on Vent. 
and then, or sorry, yeah, at plus 30, I can take 15 here and 15 at the end. I can spell chain, I can plus 30, I can value stone. Okay, let's do it. Interesting, but I think now I get rid of the Welder Helpers overall. Uh, if I take, I think I can take Spell Shield too, but it might, it, it shouldn't kill me actually because the Shade Wings should not, they can't hurt me. The Shade Wings cannot do damage to me. I have the top two floors days. Yeah, even because they're 25. We're good. Dude, I gotta stop drawing Echo Transfer like this. It's so rough. I will still play Welder Helper. He's not bad. Yeah, also Dante gets 5 HP per turn from Steelworker, so my armor requirements are less than they may seem. I do like getting Collector here. I'm getting a little nervous though. Well, plug one in. There you are. Okay, I was just gonna say, if you're, if you're slacking off again here, mister, I'm gonna be a little bit cross with you. I'm gonna be a little bit unhappy, but no, we're good. This wave could hurt me, but it won't because I will. The, the explosions are in front. The boat wings will not go off. I am a fool. I guess he just lives here now. <laughs> this is definitely just an order mistake. I should have played. I should have played this completely differently. It's okay, I can cut him down. But, like, who, buddy? It's a lot. That guy's a little powerful. I'll be honest. He'll die. Eventually. Here we go. See, we got him. No problem. It doesn't really matter because the fight just kind of ends, but I will make sure I don't make that mistake again. It doesn't It doesn't matter a ton because Dante's 100 times 6 in this run, but I should still not. I should just wait on the fledgling imp, of course. That's just a mistake. This run is pretty hard to mess up though, so I get to be pretty lazy with it. Because I can, even if even if I mess up, it's only going to be backliners that live, and backliners die to Vapor Funnel. So, it doesn't excuse me being sloppy, but also I can do whatever I want here, it's pretty over. All I have to do is not take higher damage now. So, yeah. The only thing I really lost out on there is one turning the boss instead of two. Which I'll survive. Broken etchings is kind of fun. I'm gonna go return soul though here. And then branding rights absolutely not. I can go rage serum. Three rage plus some armor. It doesn't hurt. I will I guess I could play Divine Traders, Quill. I'm just gonna skip though. I don't need it. We're really strong, and all I have to do here is remove like four cards, and then it's almost guaranteed. I was thinking I would go right here though, and I think I will. I want fire HP. You know. Just in case. Fire HP helps insulate against the worst of cases. Nice to remove a buff. Echo Seedling is kind of cool here. It just gives me, like, yeah, the first consume card I play means the divinity will never kill me. So I'm down. Units cost minus two. I took energy. I don't need energy. I'm gonna spend it on moving cards instead. I think I'm gonna toss power. Although power knowledge is kind of cool. Oh, I'm gonna toss the Wilder Helpers. That's what it is. Oh, I'm 10 gold short. How sad. Plus 30. Sure, we can get a plus 70 vent. Why not? It's better to give it plus 10 piercing there, but doesn't work for my pack shard numbers. I'm gonna go zero cost total recall. And we can double stack. Rage Serum's kinda cool. I'll roll and then minus one it. That's a really good first turn draw now. It's 18 rage and 42 armor, I believe. Okay, 100 of 100, all set. Zero gold. Could be that we are all good here. There's nothing to slow my draws down. There's nothing to stop me from drawing my cards in time, and I should have enough answers that it's not a problem here. That's the important part. I have like three or four good ways to scale Dante now. So as long as I don't completely miss. 
Because the sap is going to be a bit of a challenge here, I, I recognize. I'm going to not play Fiddle Recall, although I guess I could. The sap is a challenge. He's late again. That's okay, brother. I won't dock your pay this time. Don't let me catch you slacking again, though. Fudgling him. We covered your ship today. If you thought I'm free, I'm gonna freak. Okay. I'm gonna absolutely freak it. I gave up 15 armor, but we're, we're clear now. Th this is... I do feel like this is part of the, the... A part of Monster Train that I think is frustrating, especially if you're newer to the game, though. Which is the part where your build is hinged on not bottom decking, which is where we are right now. I think it's kind of, it can be very frustrating in a time like this because you just, you have to make removals for this build. The only other thing you can do is get a second fudgling, but then if you draw early it feels like a waste, because it is. It's, I think it can be frustrating, and I, I think it is frustrating when you, when you miss. Doesn't matter how much time you put into the game, it's still annoying to not hit. I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say about this. It's just an observation I've had of a lot of people will say that this game, and a lot of people have said to me, this game feels very RNG, and I think they're not wrong. It can feel that way. There are things you can do to mitigate it, but ultimately, if I drew that Bloodling upon turn one, this wins 100 times out of 100. So the only way I lose is with a bad roll. And until you, and it takes a long time to recognize that and then realize you have to spend the rest of your run mitigating the bad roll. Anyway, quick sidebar over. I'm not even playing Transcendent, man. I didn't even have time to play him. What a shame. Alright, well. It's over. I mean, as long I could also miss, like, all of my consumes on the first three turns. I think that might be theoretically possible. I'm going to assume it doesn't happen, though. I think it could happen. I'm not sure. So I draw two units. Okay, hold on. I drew Fudgling in turn one, so in theory it's over, but... I guess I... No, it's, I have, like, five turns for this, though. It's so impossible for Dante to die. I'll play that I won. Yeah, there's no way he dies here. And we hit the Rage Serum first, and I remember to play it first. Okay. Pack it up. We're done here. And I have two Transcendents to play later on. I'm just gonna throw these Welder Helpers away, because I don't want them. I just want their armor later when I play Transcendent. Wait a minute. No, not that armor. Hold on. Alloy Torch Vent are in here. I'm down to just clear every card out of this deck, honestly. Kill the candle. Play Echo Break Vent. And then I could return Echo Break or Torch. Oh yeah, because Echo Break was consumed. I can just consume every card for armor and effectively call this a front loaded deck. Because I'll, I'll just burn myself out of everything else. There'll be nothing left to play. But also the fight will end before it matters. If I do it like this anyway. Probably. Hey, wait a minute. Dante. Dante, where's your kills? Dante, I'm not seeing enough X's. Dante, they're not supposed to survive this. What are you doing, brother? I can't believe it. And there was enough armor for it to live the vapor funnel. No, wait. Order. I'm actually gonna kill the multi strike. I think I shouldn't disrespect it here. Oh, that changed nothing. He lived at three? Okay. Come on, yeah, I was just gonna say, come on, transcendent. Give me something good here. Hmm. 
299 times 6, I am definitely clear. So I guess I'll just avoid damage. Surely I'm clear here. I mean, he one-shots every enemy, so it has to be over. Yeah, I'm gonna end turn. Just running the numbers real quick, it's, it's definitely over. We have 150 armor. There's no reason to play it anything other than clear. I can take zero damage here. I can avoid it. One round. Yeah, we're good. Alright, that, that was actually a pretty fun run. A good one to end it on, I think, as well. Because... I don't know, it was, it was close. We had a little bit of trouble. I think the biggest thing to look at this run with... The, it's easy for me to not like give myself credit as to have learned over the course of time, but this run is very easy to lose in combat 4. Like, really, really easy to just drop dead there. You saw me take 40. Especially with that draw, if you take uh, if you take a lot of pack shards early, you're gonna probably drop there. That run, that, that area can kill you. But also, with hindsight and knowing what's on this run, you can just play Horned Warrior, because there's Gurg's Goad and Multi-Strike. You can do another Dante cosplay, but... Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Someone gave me a pretty fun suggestion, I thought. Before I wrap up with this challenge... So the challenge is over. We're done. I've finished it. Before I wrap it up now, what I want to do, because I saw this comment, I'm going to do two more runs of the challenge. One where we take the Dante as your starting champion mutator, and one where we take the Hef one, because I think that sounds kind of fun. So I'll do that over the next two days, and we'll just probably... I'll probably play random random for that, and we'll see where we get. And then yeah, I'll do a little we'll do a little tier listing with the boys sometime as our probably the final monster train tier list because you know, the shiny shoes working on other stuff now. But nonetheless, for now, it's been a pleasure doing this challenge. It was fun. I learned a lot about each of the champions. I had a good time. Uh and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.